Hello. One. It's already on. You can continue. Ah, right. Hello. So, uh, let me start with my next phase of the so-called uh, 3D printing or as a subset of in general rapid prototyping for design. Now, the issue in design is that you know we, we need to make new products at one extreme uh, we make products only for our own uh, what you call happiness about it which probably a bit of art, little bit of singing, a little bit of uh, what you call uh, arranging your own uh, you know immediate environment like landscape you do it for yourself. If you get appreciation it is fine otherwise there is no issue about it. Second is commission meaning somebody likes your work and they commission it saying kindly make something for me. Then finally, when the industrial revolution came this whole concept of making products for manufacturing in the industry has come about. So, if you have the patience please go to the industrial design website and see what all you can do. So, typically you have things like core 77 uh, then uh, you have uh, so many of them you know, including frog design and everybody you know about it probably has a website and their own opinion about I will not say opinion their own take about what design is as it applies to their field and their familiar. So, I will put it aside it is all about how to make new objects and to make a new object quickly we need to produce it and show it to somebody either you understand what it is or you show it to somebody else. So, we have a need for it. So, let us say there is a student who needs to study for an exam this is a small book in fact, it is a very very small book I have seen it and uh, last when I check uh, it says oh 930 pages I expect people are expected to read it if you ask me have you read it yes and no relevant parts yes, but not relevant to me I have just thumbed or browse through them. So, you see here the cover itself it shows all about CAD CAM this book itself is actually quite old the one we have is uh, I do not know anyway let me the original was very 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 old it says 2005 good enough. Now, let us say a person is preparing for these things here you see here it is closely packed equations. So, these equations have two types so, one of them thing is a little bit of theory identifying a particular equation and applying it in the real life. Now, this is where <coughs> one of my students wanted to make a product which makes not learning <laughs> writing a test easier. So, when you want to write a test invariably you have a time constraint. So, the basic time constraint is the test probably runs as per a clock see here I have this clock. I am sure all of you know are a little familiar with it something you know which uh, as you say not all people are morning people and some people at least the late risers no think it is ok to get rid of the morning people, but however you cannot get rid of exams because exams seem to be the one that will give you a chance to be take a you know uh, but take a chance to go on to the next stage to get an opportunity. So, the starting point is obviously a time. So, Right now, there is no issue about it at least when we grew up uh, these wristwatches were not very popular for various reasons because uh, uh, I went through a strict school uh, by which they wanted everybody to be about the same occasionally they do now with respect to mobile phones. Mobile phones are not allowed you are expected to park it outside same thing with all these high tech devices right now I have a high tech device and in this package you know probably it is very easy to cheat. So, you have no access to a 
wrist watch or a pocket watch or anything and in fact uh, because all of these things have bluetooth and they have capability to interact with your phone and uh, even if your phone is just outside the window you can do it so you only have a clock which is a wall clock okay and you need to time yourself so if you have this wall clock like this which is you know fixed by definition a wall clock or you have a table clock the teacher points out at the clock or the test administrator points out at the clock saying the test is about to start at 10:30 and you have to write complete within one hour and in between we would not like to disturb others so kindly you to don't disturb your friends if you want to get the time please look at it and just 5 minutes before we give the stop signal we will announce it and exactly at uh, one hour at uh, say 11:30 you need to stop writing and uh, turn the paper and blah 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 and all that now all tests have become tick the right answer type you understood no they have usually i'll just give you if it's a 60 what you call 60 minute uh, uh, this thing at least one fourth of them that is for 15 minutes you probably have 15 questions where you can quickly tick ticking time is important they are familiar meaning if you have a sequence no suppose you have typically uh, you know say 0 <coughs> 1 uh, then 1 2 3 5 you know the sequence no 8 and so on and one of the thing is they'll give you the next few numbers saying tick the correct answer and the advantage of it is once you do the marking either the teacher can have a template which uh, she can see or a machine automatically recognize the optical character mark so we have ocm and ocr uh, i mean optical character recognition character things all of them depend on pencil all of them depend on total time and how do you apportion your time so <coughs> when people study for the exam one of the earliest thing they do is probably get this monster big problem we have that is why i use the example of something which is actually 60 minutes so i'll just wind it i wind it to the next uh, this thing let us say 30 minutes but still it's a distraction i have to keep looking at it for every minute or every 5 minutes and then when i turn it back horrible sounds it gives most irritating and uh, you'll not be motivated further because of the this thing and in fact one of our famous universities have made a alarm clock which if we try to swat it will run away so now one of the students wanted to time his experience in responding to answers so obviously something and all is required in it one of it is about the timer secondly you need to write and tick so i have gathered various objects i am sure some of you may have seen it again this is just to demonstrate to my students in the class we have taken it this is probably a candle holder okay and uh, it doesn't matter about the you know faith or religion or anything this candle holder looks a little like a okay looks a little like a teapot and a cup has been created which looks a little like a blue teapot right now i have not uh, you know put everything originally there is an idea of keeping an led lamp here which was only distracting if it is only a decorative piece it is like that otherwise i can always fill it with some <coughs> this thing or coat it inside with a blue color thing and if i change the cap i get a different color for some reason in uh, classes and all that no so called royal blue is uh, preferred for this now it comes to this quill i have seen that now this quill has been made intentionally to be a little decorative seen this and there is a ball point pen refill here there is a cap here i can pull it out and i can replace it whenever i want can you see it i have a ball point refill so it was a good idea to make this so what i do is i start my test and i try to learn how to answer my things how well i can hold it in real life of course you won't have it some of the places they give a pencil <coughs> some of the places they give a pencil saying 
you can you know what they call a tick with a pencil and they also give an eraser so that in case you want you can change it like that eventually towards end you are allowed to ink those things permanently or alternatively if you have a you know good dark pencil you need to you know darken it and it uh, stays and by mistake if you do two of them we have a little problem latest online we have even avoided this but generally people use a marker here probably it is a genuine you know what you call ball point uh, with a liquid ink so <coughs> two things good enough is it not we need to make a product which has all these capabilities one of them is as soon as i finish a tick the timer should give me a lap time a stopwatch lap time in fact i have seen some uh, mobile uh, apps in which uh, stopwatches are built so let me check if uh, stopwatches are there this is a normal stopwatch with it has been started and various types of alarms and all in set but this that uh, the uh, project i am going to show was made long long ago and it is a dedicated thing so you don't need to reach or you don't need to do much and it just works you understand no now apps are available but then this is a little distracting if you talk about apps you now they are slightly distracting so we have this uh, nice thing and whenever i want i can make a lap you see here how long it has taken i have a big list of these things i can probably upload it to my what you call favorite storage and then try to use these things only nuisance with this is often uh, unwanted uh, distraction will be there because uh, you know it may be trying to place calls or uh, some internally that system now may try to get into maintenance including updating and all that and while some of it is okay some of it is not so good okay the latest one uh, you know thing which we had was saying it had a thumb uh, what you call uh, this uh, fingerprint recognition also so uh, the teacher uh, you know takes it and passes it around the class and uh, you know it does everything it marks attendance another variant of it is using this thumb thing that is after i finish ticking i give a tick on the that uh, you know <coughs> the oh mark sheet and then i also press this if you tick press it like that it will give me a total list of questions and so on while it is okay at one level it is not a full product because anybody can make it and you cannot sell it as a separate item so which will bring back uh, to the things which i have here so if you see here so started looking for a timer saying i am sure some of you are familiar with what is called the egg timer so so that it will not be distracting i'll show you the egg timer eventually you understand no so we have this egg timers similarly we have uh, you know various types of uh, okay anything related to this so good old Three minute sand egg timer like this. So you put the uh, what a car hour glass, turn it over, and it uh, this thing. I have, I mean, uh, later on I'll show you. Advantage of or disadvantage of this is it is available for a specific this thing, and it's a novelty. Okay, may not be ideal thing for us to use it in a, an examination. So I'll now go back again. Instead of the egg timer, I'll just use the word timer and see. So, if I want a timer which is available in the market, we have all these things. You see here, I am sure some of you probably have it. It is typically a kitchen timer, but all these are not exactly convenient and are not products which will fill a gap in the market. They are all there. Everything what we know is already there. But then this is when uh, one of our students, you know, he was given the problem. He thought a lot about it and came out with it. And online, you now you have all these things saying, I do not know what it is. The company is called a tomato uh, thing, and then uh, maybe you can use it to make all these, you know, various types of objects. So we have beautifully you can set whatever time and all that. I'm sure you have noticed 
you are not allowed to take it into the, uh, the what you call um, uh, the test hall. So, our student inside decided to make something else. So, before showing the final result, I showed you the necessity for a, a pen okay, or scribing a device. Then now, these things also have come, but it is not likely to be used. Okay. I think you know what it is, it is one of those stylus. It makes sense in case you are using a mobile and you are doing it, but other side it has a normal pen, you can tick and all that. And I am sure several of you probably have access to this. This is nothing, this is something which I can write on the screen and there is a stylus here, there is a pen here and then there is something else here depending on this now I can point out and so on like this. Now, <coughs> can we make a product which satisfies all this? So, somebody has tried to uh, what you call work on it, kindly see the presentation now. Design of an ergonomic pen and pen stand with timer. So, I think it is obvious here. First of all, no, a lot of time has gone into trying to understand what is the what you call the situation and try to solve small problems at a thing and make an integrated project. Now, when you go to the night, I think early on I may have shown you that uh, what you call one more book timer early on in the thing. If I have it, I will uh, see if I can have it. So, please have a look at this uh, lamp which I have here. Can you show the lamp? You see here, it looks good and in fact, it even works. So, when you want to <laughs> read a book, use it, but not very good when you want to take it to an examination uh, hall or anything because the situation is very different and very and still there are multiple things. So, now coming back to the presentation made by my students. Please have a look at the presentation presented by all these things. I, you know, acknowledge uh, Suganya, Nilkant, Richa, so on, so on, so many of them, Mahima, and so on. The starting point was this saying see here, even the name has been chosen, probably it is an illuminating both you know you get illuminated about your uh, thing how to improve yourself plus it is illuminator. So, I see at the left now a little bit of something is there and you see the beautiful organic shapes it has. There is something here okay. then there is something here there is something here and then there is a almost an ink blot looks like an ink blot test you can spend more time on it later what an ink blot test is. The thing is it is a blotch free simple device which can be made. So, why I showed this particular one is we have this saying technical objects invariably end up with being crude geometry which are not that pleasant to look at in some other condition I can do. So, nature the inspiration always have been smooth curves. So, when you have time and uh, when you have the thing please come back and uh, check uh, what it is ah my uh, what do you call feather is here and then I have some ripples in a tank. Uh, then I am not very sure whether it is a sand dune or it is part of a fish or it is part of a hand or you know enhanced. Next you have something which are probably leaves, then you have a bark, then uh, you have some things which are probably you know organic, then you have you know random shapes, then this is a feather basket saying the inspiration for your products you know should come from various things which you are familiar with. One of the things is straight lines are not so great because if you see all this no inherently there is a beautiful flow in all these things. So, flow should be natural then even ripples no are they are not like 
what do you call uh, roadblocks. It is just that they make and then everything should be organic. It is not man-made, naturally it comes here. So, now have a look at these things. You can read it yourself, I will slowly move it here. Allow me to interrupt, I mean, what do you call uh, start here. The thing is, <coughs> the students you know have built uh, as much of I know uh, intelligence and uh, things which they have built. Now, if you see the organic shape itself, can you see here there are two small dimples here, dimple here then probably there is a dimple so that you can hold it and take it and there is a very attractive thing instead of making it into a um, what you call a box which previously I showed you saying you know we have a plate which has two things and all that no this timer sits here at the time of going to press or the time of making this the displays were not you know organic but right now it looks like no some other way they can make it. So, it is possible for us to for example, project these from behind onto a screen here or project a time directly on the wall or on your paper where you are doing and then even you see various buttons and all how well it is and the important thing is it is a, a pen and a torch with a designer look you see here this is a pen and it has two LEDs here and there are some two black things I am not sure what the black things are to light up your desk, desk and serve as a reading lamp along with a pen stand with a digital timer keep monitoring your time. So, the idea is every time you, you pick it up the moment you pick it up it starts. In case you do not want it to start you can always use your left hand or anything or you can give a delay. So, the magic is this concept and this positioning in your mind saying that is very critical a product positioning is all that you require a lot of materials which you buy and all that no you buy them because of two or three considerations one of them is it has been position has been created in it saying I want an object like that in fact I I am ready to pay a lot of money just for its various other things. So, even when you buy any product one of the thing you involve get yourself involved is probably the aesthetics of how it looks. So, tremendous amount of see the designers often build on this aesthetic thing. Do not look about the designer clothes and all they have a purpose the very fact that you have noticed them is partly the purpose is solved. Leaving the designer clothes apart if you see all the clothes are um, and I will use the word apparel and any of the body things any of the environment everything and all no especially the built environment things somebody has worked on it. Now, this is about the reading uh, what I call reading aid and then this whole positioning was created before the product was done you understood no. It is not as if somebody has made all these things put them together and try to make a product out of it. You see the uh, thing once again this whole positioning the whole thing no that was part of the exercise the building the other thing was only incidental and this. So, we come with this thing saying how do you now to play around with it. So, uh, so in three or four stages it was presented to their own peers and their peers have said yes, yes we will make it like this. I have no clue I cannot explain what goes on in the mind of the designer. It looks a little like a mouse and is already has formed up into a nice shape here can you see already a nice shape has been formed up here ok. And this part this part here probably refers to all this stand part of it. 
this part here refers to the pen part of it. So, life is good absolutely and now you see the two black things. First of all, there is an ergonomic grip saying how well you hold it which is not solved very well in these things. Then there is a stand also if you want to use it as a reading lamp you just you know push it down and then try to use it as a, a stand without in any way compromising on the utility of the whole thing here. Seen this now you will come to the second thing a lot of it it not just stopped here. How well you can see it and how well it prints. So, I do not have the original uh, what you call. Uh, now, if you look at this object while everything looks fine this is in principle no a flat surface with a mild curve you will not observe the curve ok. And that curve is only taken by this one window which is there in this case it is a thick acrylic window which if you make these things touch and the printed circuit board is probably a flexible PCB or a PCB which is made in three parts. So, we have one part here, we have one part here and one part or it is flexed and attached to here at the back. So, you have this beautiful display which is there and you have this pen which all this stand and all this and eventually this was printed I do not know can you observe this here not very great is it not this is the printed uh, the thing. So, if possible I will spend a little time I will try to what do you call uh, get this picture out or if it is a composite I cannot do much and I uh, will see what best I can do about it. You notice here it is not that clean as we think it is is not it not clean it is still granular and uh, hokeish I can just say it still makes a thing and then at the back no I am not selling I think you know what it is. The students were also trying to mention what these things mean if you have a chance no look up that logo and uh, decide how it has come. So, you see here various use case scenarios saying here the LED light is on while it is sitting here and <laughs> probably this is what was produced this is what I have been showing you so far and this is the actual piece that was they managed to print about it. Why I wanted to show is now if you see carefully. So, lot of effort has gone on how to split it into two parts you have seen it here now there is a line which is a split line. Why this line is required is whenever the something changes you have it in all your cars also. So, let me look whether I can get a little closer. Now, you will notice that it is not such a beautiful uh, structure it is still crude, but then uh, obviously, time was a constraint and uh, a lot of time was spent on conceptualizing the product and now when you want to make it uh, their best what they could do the students have tried to build it and uh, probably try to finish it we insisted that they show it to us in the unfinished state it is very easy we just sand it a little and then after that no first round of uh, let us say some filler similar to what you will use in your car especially the front bumpers and all again sand it again fill sand it and later on no give uh, a paint and a lacquer over it and we can get whatever pictures are given there. And other thing you will notice here can you see what is here this is charged why by pushing it into this. So, when you are not using it you just park your pen here or you put it in the pen stand and the pen gets charged and then after that you pick it up and start answering your answering your question. So, here you see the what they call the computer in which you know in the front they have kept it and they have shown it. And in my opinion it is very good it is a very good thing, but then this problem with all organic shapes 
you understood now the original concept had something else now the actual printed thing had you have seen that no a small grip so that you do not drop it and added to that at the base probably there is a rechargeable some cell inside. So, all of these things can easily be built around using the usual things and then you see the actual use here you have seen this here is a book and uh, actually there is a you know that pen is uh, there and then you can light up the book and reading it. So, it serves both the purposes of lighting this or in the case of this is only for practice, but however, when you actually you know take the administer test you are using the same uh, what you call uh, uh, that um, ballpoint pen and you can use it as a marker even if it was a pencil it was it is not impossible and you see here the amount of area that is covered in this and all are neatly taken care of. Now, if I go back you have seen this AAA batteries, but they are rechargeable they have you know either way you can use it you know charge it outside or put it here then LR 44 for the timer which is why do you require LR 44 for the timer because we need to hold the time and typically LR 44 is a size and they come in both 1.5 and 3 volts also. So, LR 44 size 3 volts also is available, but conventionally you know you get 1.5 and then 4 for the torch LEDs. So, 4 into 1.5 you need a minimum of that so that the LEDs will work here. So, we have all this stuff super bright white and then LEDs with circuitry, a timer a digital timer stopwatch circuit and uh, various active components and a small it is an LED screen wrongly they have written LCD screen probably it was written uh, you know much before the thing has started. So, the advantage being I have now something which actually works well and <laughs> uh, to me it is hanging on top. <laughs> I do not know whether uh, this actually was placed on the book to me no it looks as if it is added, but then this object looks uh, fine meaning they have made something which you know follows the shell and uh, what do you say the marine and uh, water crustaceans and probably it is another stand and uh, things like that. So, the topic is I feel partly covered say the topic is partly covered saying in case you are looking at organic shapes they are not that easy to produce, but then not all organic shapes need to be very bad. If you see here this is also a little organic can you see here a little organic to the extent if you see on the side there are a few things a few curves or anything, but the essential part has been made as much as possible. This is the earlier uh, things you understand no this is a little earlier uh, you know things which we are trying to get. Now, with the, this is with the advent of mass manufacturing and injection molded plastic, but then this continue to be the mainstay of most process I do not know this may be may be around uh, the design may be pre second world war, uh, but this object was you know acquired in 19 uh, probably 80. So, at 35 years old. So, thing is it still works and basically reliable it uh, you know works on the timer and even if you see this the amount of time that has been spent on you know making all this and this is a embossed or deep drawn uh, part and then this is probably spot welded to this you understand no there is a bit of spot welding and there are lot of assembly and this has to float otherwise it would not give a, the knock and then we have ever present handle. It looks a lot like a the alarm clock which uh, we both love and hate is it not very surprising thing is on uh, work days you want do not want to get out of bed and then on uh, holidays you probably get up early early enough that apart. You see we have certain elements which have been protected here that have been taken to this including there is a 
what you call a buzzer. Ah, there are no watch. Okay, there are no this thing. Then you have a time uh, making device and at the base things have to be lot of power is required for this you see it is not hand powered anymore while it was a novelty at the time when uh, what you call right now people are going back to what are retro. So, it does not have all the elements of a retro. <coughs> now, having come to the end I will try to show you something which one of my students who also undertook my course has gone to this company. I am not sure where this company was. I do not know whether it is actually a trade name or it comes from a glass blower there and you see what he has given me. I am sure you will appreciate it. This is a an original dip pen. So, I have a ink pot I dip it inside I take it up and there are certain grooves here. These grooves seem to hold the ink earlier when we had this quill system <coughs> this quill had those pockets these pockets used to hold the thing and then the concept of a pen knife came. So, you want to use it as a pen you slice it with a knife and then the pockets hold all the ink and then afterwards you can start writing it. Now, <laughs> this one has been made by a, a glass blower. Uh, I mean that uh, thing sounds a little Italian possibly it is Italian. Now, the advantage being already it has a nice blue color I just need to dip it in ink the moment I dip it in ink and take it out just sufficient ink comes out and after that I can start writing. And if you ask me how much uh, does it write these are all generally used as portable personal portable uh, this thing. So, people used to carry a small book and they write a diary like thing. So, typically it could be they used to have called you know quarto and you know small what we call a, a pocket book. Imagine you have a pocket book, but which is open like this and you start writing whatever it is. So, one sheet is a little less than an A4 sheet and this writes every time you do shake it and then keep writing it by the time you come to the end and then when you flip over this you again dip and do it here. So, that is a what you call classical creation probably the concept may be I do not know 100 or 200 years old this is my new this thing. I like to hate it well I say every element is there every element looks crazy in this saying if I am making a new object why should I try to make something which is crude which is taken from the other thing and <coughs> I do not mind these things. Now, I have a beautiful uh, what I call stylus here and depending on if it is a resistive or it is a what I call capacitive screen I can happily write things ok. And then now you know even this is dispense of now people can write happily here capture it and take it back. This apart since uh, this particular lecture is about uh, how to make rapid prototypes if we were to create this glass object we are to create a glass object it is very easy to create this in your rapid prototyping. Will you believe it extremely easy to create it all I just need to do is make this and then you can make all this nice interesting grooves and everything probably the scale will not be the same I need to make it a little bigger uh, maybe two times and then once it works I can actually scale it down take it to a glass blower and very quickly he will blow it and give it to us it will not be of this size it costs a lot of money I do not know I expect my student has paid uh, between 50 to little higher than 50 euros and uh, he remembered me saying uh, see he gave it I said uh, no I do not want to take it he said no sir it is not for you kindly show it to your students. So, I can only you know remember him and uh, wish him the best. Now, coming back to this monitor let me go through a few other things which also have kept here yeah probably <coughs> if I have not already done it I will try to come back to these things. Later on I have all these uh, what you call objects I will see if at least one of them know I can print and uh, this is what I wanted to show you maybe at this point now you will understand 
that uh, this object looks fine absolutely no problem, but then actually when you print it chances are it will look like this given enough time and given uh, anything you can always do a little bit of post processing and make it look better. But the issue is not about whether you can directly sell it like this or anything, but the issue is once you have a concept and you have a working model which is made quickly that is this design probably of this the what you call enclosure design probably that a student has spent a month concept as a group I have probably spent a month and then inside the electronics they have probably spent a month, but that was parallel. Hence you know finally, this whole thing was probably printed in 2 or 3 days. So, in, uh, in a month you have an object that can be created including this element of novelty or wow factor in it got it no element of novelty and wow factor in it because if you are to just make uh, a timer which uh, it, it, it does not go well at least I do not like uh, these uh, things no let me go back to the internet and then show you some timers which I do not like. So, this is one of my favorite uh, favorite distractions saying see if I type electronic dies I get all this you know the funny circuits I have no interest in a funny circuit like this neither do I have an interest in a funny circuit like this. Well it looks nice absolutely there is no problem about it being a nice because the focus here is not about how you use the thing but I am saying except you learn how do you make a dice here. So, we have several of these dice circuits now is there a way of can somebody make slightly better you seen this this is a slightly better object it looks a little like a dice and it has a multiple function also in this case it is actually just something which looks like a dice but the thing is it is probably a night lamp it counts the time in terms of tens of seconds. So, you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds it shows or it can be term in terms of hours and minutes by changing the color first color will probably show you the what you call time second color I mean the hours. second color will show you the other uh, thing. So, we have all these beautiful uh, options. So, to me somehow no I am not very happy about those things this is slightly better how to make a 7 segment simple blah 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 and all that you see here we have an electronic dice and all the faces are there <laughs> ok. So, I uh, will show you something which is there and then you see this this may or may not be a dice, but still it has a few elements like you can shake it when you shake it and eventually when it stops all the things will go round and round and you have a time that is displayed on it. So, <laughs> microcontroller based electronic dice. So, what they have done here is probably only the top the dice what it has it has been shown there as a <laughs> some uh, what you got, but inside it is possible for us you know to have something uh, which you know which actually rolls and then we make all this stuff in the end we have a dice which actually works, but no box has been shown here. So, this is the beauty about this sort of projects this is one more interesting thing roll activated electronic dice seen this no you try to roll it. And then once the roll is over then you will notice something about it normally uh, if you take 5 there is a center dot. So, 1 3 5 have center dots you understand no 1 3 and 5 have center dots in a dice like this here say 5 has 1 uh, this thing has and you have it, but 6 2 6 and 4 do not have a center dot. So, what you do about it in this case no. Uh, people do not mind they have provided 7 LEDs here. So, roll activated electronic dice also know is one of those things which is quite popular oh, ignore all uh, whatever is here, but you see here then you have the patients you just read through saying how it works and uh, what all you can do with it different colors 
see here probably it is actually made into a ball and inside the ball probably there is a counter weight at the base and little flat portion. So, what you do is you shake it uh, just like you would do an ordinary thing and gently you know make it such that it will sit back onto the original base and these things you know give a what you call a random rotation and then one random thing comes out here. So, we have things which are built uh, you know nicely like this we have so many of these objects if nothing else you can make various other things objects with it you understand no. So, we have uh, I am very happy uh, to have actually you know what you call helped you in uh, looking up a few things here and uh, see here this to me is something which you can very easily print in a rapid prototype thing. The why rapid prototype and why printing is <coughs> the outside object being circular I mean being spherical you can always sanding it is easy you understand no take a sand paper and in fact wet sanding if you have uh, you can start with probably 80 or 100 and then finish it up with uh, 300 or 400 and if the material is good naturally it will stays good otherwise you can spray it and lacquer it and you have a beautiful object and you can build various types of intelligence into it just staying on the table still randomly it can uh, what you call change colors give you numbers and all that it will be a good conversation piece and a novelty and people will buy. So, if I go down I have more and more and more uh, what you call beautiful objects like this here. So, some of them are little simple and some of them are like this ok and this is even better you see can you see something here it is lighting up numbers are lighting up here can life be better than this. Then can you have dice with other thing can you have a, a tetrahedral dice meaning it says 3 triangles and then you make it uh, what you call sphere <laughs> where the it is sliced and 3 portions and then maybe its behavior is you have 4. So, you can maybe make with 4 which people suspect we do with our grading. So, we have you know we have A, B, C, D probably a tetrahedral dice is easy for us to roll and then you know get a beautiful grade for the students. Incidentally, we do not do like that. We spend a lot of time on you know preparing ourselves to everything like this and uh, I was lucky today to have some current things which are popped up on the outside. So, thank you I will uh, stop here we will continue in the next session where I will see if I can actually connect my I have a laptop here I will see if one of those uh, objects can be created. One of the thing is for example, this dice which has the 7 uh, what you call openings meaning I will create 2 halves of uh, a sphere except one half has a small flat cut you understand no have a sphere with a flat cut on one half. So, that when you roll it comes and sits there and then I have a display which is on the top which I may or need not make holes if it is made of a transparent materials the LEDs and all can light up from inside you understand the LEDs can light up from inside I can see it. So, if you see several of these latest things like air conditioners which need to stay on in the night people get distracted by the various blinking nights displays and all that is the display switched off a display comes on lightly and usually directly behind the panel there is no red cut out in which you know you can see everything and all that. So, several of these devices are you know which are visible outside do not need to have a red window it you can see the color of it directly through a thinned out section of the original material. So, thank you.